inspect these air filters. I think the latch is caught on the back. Oh my gosh. So you don't even have oil bath filters anymore. That's an air filter. That's a paper cartridge. How's your son come along on his bus? Uh, we haven't actually picked it up yet, so we don't get oh, okay. it until March. That's yeah, so my old idea of you guys um, setting up that property where people will come to you. I think that's a super, oh wow, that thing is actually. Yeah, that's definitely dirty. I'm glad we put that bag over the. Yeah. <laughs> Short out the injectors and see how evenly each cylinder is firing in here. start it yeah this was smoking right here oh okay <laughs> so, let's clean that up before we start it again Absolutely. cleaning up the ground on this i saw the smoking when he tried to start it so it's definitely not a very good connection just gonna quick clean up the other grounds on here just to make sure they're good i found this terminal broken off in there it was just barely touching and i think that was where that, all that resistance was coming from so we're going to replace this. This is on a uh, on off switch. So like this injector here has no label, no tag on it. This one has no tag on it. This one's an N55. This one has no tag. This one's an N55 and this one's an N60. So regardless, I know that there's two different sizes in here for sure which isn't going to let it run really good with this one getting more fuel than this one and the ones that are node tags, you know, who knows what they are. I mean, I'd be more likely to guess that since there's two N55s that they're probably 55s, but they're not marked at all. So it's never going to run right with different injectors in there. Never going to run smooth with different injectors in there.
full tune up on it and see where that gets us. But you're already smoking way less and it's, it's sounding much better. better so yeah. uh, I can tell you right now, new injectors is going to do a world of difference for you, okay. especially because they're not a match set. They're all over the place. Um, I'd like to take off your blower cover and inspect your blower too. We might be sucking a little oil through there. That could be some of your smoke too, but we're doing much better. So well, he's barring the engine over using a very small pry bar that fits in between the bumper. We can't get the bumper to open up. Um, and then, uh, it's like right now I'm getting ready to check the exhaust valves on this cylinder here. This is a 15 17 0 0.015, 0 0.017. Um, the 0 0.015 part should fit, the 17 should not. Under the exhaust valves on a four valve head. I'm just waiting for this to come up all the way. Getting close. One's been good, one's been off. Let's see that that goes in. And then it stops as soon as it hits it. So that one's good. So we're going to go on to the next one. Uh, left hand firing runner 142635. So that was six. The next one's going to be number three that we'll watch for. coming up. Is it moving every time it makes that noise or was it slipping off? It's slipping off. Okay. It's right up against the very top it slips up. This one, it goes in and then I can go all the way with it. So that one's too loose. This one's actually good here. This one's just too loose. That'll show you why I should smoke it so much. All that oil in the blower. You guys do have those? Yeah. Okay. How many of those do you guys have in stock?
cylinders are pretty weak. I'm going to try and do a compression test here. That's really good. Okay, so we ran over to Interstate McB, which is here in Houston, and picked up a brand new set of N65s for it. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna put these N65s so all have the same injector across the board in there. Okay, so we just are now completing the last fuel injector replacement. We went through and we did a compression test on all the cylinder holes. Everything is great compression-wise. He had me come down here because he wanted to do an in-frame rebuild on this bus. As soon as I heard it start yesterday, I knew it didn't need an in-frame rebuild, so I didn't want him to waste his money on that now. It's got great compression. It runs real good. The blower is causing it to smoke. The injectors wasn't, weren't letting it run even. There were multiple sizes of injectors in there. I don't even know what some of these... So this one's an N60 blue tag, if that makes a difference. This one's an N55. This one's not labeled. N55. My guess is that they're all N55s except for that one N60. This one's not labeled. I don't see any other markings on it. Uh, I spray tested some of them and they had little streams coming out of them. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five. There should be one more injector somewhere. I don't know where I laid it at. That's all right. Um, it was a known, there was no label on it. There was two N55s, the rest of them had no labels and then one N60. So um, hopefully that's gonna make it run better. We're going to go through and run the rack, actually. It was, some of the cylinders were weak, but I think it was just because the rack hadn't been run on it, uh, where some fuel, some injectors at idle were doing less fuel than others. That's more likely what it was. Um, and it just needs to get run to get rid of the smoke. And then, obviously, the blower. He's going to send the blower in to have it rebuilt. 630 bucks to have it rebuilt. Um, that's cheaper than what I could do it for my labor and then parts. Um, I don't have all the tools with me to do it anyways. So uh, the guys over at Powerline Components, PC Industries, are going to do it. Again, 630 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, parts on that are about half that price. So we're starting to get it cleaned up. Um, we're going to pressure wash it tomorrow uh, and kind of go from there. But we're, we're making some progress. Everything's got good compression. It's got all new injectors now. I'm gonna, it's, we're losing daylight, uh, and I'm going to go through and run the rack tonight and then redo the tune-ups since I put new injectors in it. But uh, she's going to be running real sweet tomorrow. Check out his 77 Beetle. Isn't that awesome? I know we got lots of Volkswagen fans like myself. And then this is really cool too. He's got some cool projects. What year's the bike? It's a 73. An old two stroke. That's awesome. It's got a... Is this just an extra engine over here? Or you got something wrong with it that is. engine? Yeah, so that one's a 1500 single port in there. And this one's a 1600 dual port. So I'm going to rebuild this one and, uh, and put it in there. Cool. So at the end of the day, there's Lenny and his new buddy. They've been hanging out together all day. Got a lot done. Uh, tomorrow we'll get even more. But uh, I'm not sure that every mechanic would have traveled somewhere and not rebuilt an engine when that's when the customer wanted. Um, but I didn't want to take money from him. It's a good, strong engine. It starts so easily. Compression is great on it. Um, it just needs some adjustment, some fine tuning, blower. It may end up smoking just a little bit still too. Um, but uh, it's not from compression. It could be oil control rings or something. But right now I'm gonna go with blower because of as much uh, oil was in that blower. Finish the tune up on it and then just get some miles on it. I think it's really gonna be a good strong bus. 
It's gonna need to add to the radiator though, the cooling fans on it. That's, I don't like that system. Um, it can be done electric. I know somebody who's done it, but I don't, I think he needs more than what he's got on there. And he's gonna need to really watch those temperatures closely.